There's a new feature called Log Sheets that allows you to maintain a spreadsheet-like log for each asset on your map. Let's look at an example. On this map, the customer has already created a layer for their lead and copper samples. You can see some of their points marked here. If I zoom in and click on one of these points, we can see that there's a new field here that looks like a little table. If I click to expand the sheet, I can see that it's not actually a little log sheet, but rather it's a full spreadsheet where you can record daily, weekly, or even annual readings. Everything recorded here pertains to this one sample point that we've selected. To add a new entry, you just start typing in the box. This works similar to how the Diamond Maps Note field works in that you can only add new entries to this table. By design, past log sheet entries cannot be modified. The reason we do this is because we want you to trust as a safe place to permanently record your data for years to come. This way no one can accidentally wipe out years of past entries. And if someone finds a way around that, remember we have backups of all your data every night. When we click Apply, you can see the preview window updates to show the most recent reading. But you can always click on it to expand it to see that the data is still there. This same full log sheet prints along with the form whenever you print this record. The columns of this log sheet, which in this case we have date, location, lead parts per billion, these can all be customized for whatever your application is. Now let's look at how you can set up a log sheet for your own layer starting from scratch. And remember to click apply to save your changes to this feature. So let's go to their layer list and I can see this customer has a layer for pump houses. Let's locate one of those. Let's say that you do a daily inspection of all your pumping stations and we want to create a log here in the map to replace our paper daily log sheet. So here's how we do that. First, on the layer screen we go to more and go to add remove fields. By the way, video 215 shows a more general overview of how to use this Add Remove Fields form. So this new log sheet functionality is implemented as a special field that you add to your layer. So we're going to go down here and click Add New Field. We're going to choose this field type as Log Sheet. We're going to give the field a name such as Daily Log. This daily log is what shows up as the name of the table. Now we need to define the columns at the top of our log sheet. So let's say that you record a date, maybe a time, a pump pressure, let's just call that pressure, the hours on the motor, and we'll record some uh, initials indicating who did the uh, reading. Now as these notes say down here, you want to put a little bit of care into initially designing these columns because you can't go back and change the order of these columns. You can always add new columns and you can even hide existing columns by blanking out the column name. Or you can rename a column. You just can't change the order. But this looks good for our example here, so I'm going to click OK. And now this adds this field at the bottom of the list. I'm going to move it up in the list. And then apply changes. Now let's close this old form. Let's click on the pump again. And you can see I have a new field here called daily log. And here's a preview of the table. If I click on the table, you can see it's blank. I have no data in here yet, but now I can just start typing. And of course, don't forget to click apply on the log sheet and then apply again here on the main form. So give it a try yourself. Depending on what works best for your team, you may choose to have your operator continue to record things on paper and then someone back at the office types the information into the map. Or you might have your guys record directly onto the map themselves on their phones 
thus completely eliminating some of your paper logs. I hope you find this useful. Let me know what applications you find for this new tool.